So we have a toy trailer of mass 3 kg and a toy car of mass 5 kg and then we have an applied force of 40 newton as you can clearly see on the left hand side and then it goes on to say that uh, both vehicles experience a frictional uh, force while they are moving uh, the frictional force on the car has a magnitude of 4.9 newton so we have some fr uh, which is equal to 4.9 newton and then the first question 2.1.1 which says that write down newton's second law of motion in words uh, it says that when a net force acts on an object the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force uh, with an acceleration that is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object that is uh, the acceleration is directly proportional to the force right that is acting on the object and is inversely proportional to the mass of the object and then 2.1.2 says what type of frictional force do the vehicles experience so we are told that um, when these vehicles start moving they are experiencing a frictional force and we know that a frictional force uh, that is associated with uh, moving objects is kinetic friction so we have kinetic friction if they were stationary then we were, we were going to have a uh, static friction and then 2.1.3 says show by means of a calculation that the frictional force on the trailer has a magnitude of 2.94 newton if the coefficient of friction is 0 0.1 so uh, back to the definition what is friction uh, friction is given by uh, the product of the coefficient and the normal force right and then we are told that the coefficient is 0 0.1 now the question is what is the normal force the normal force is the mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration right so we're gonna have 3 multiplied by 9,8 and then if you uh, put that in your calculator uh, you're gonna get 2.94 2.94 newton uh, like the question says we should show and then 2.1.4 says calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the system and then it goes on to say write down the separate equations for the two moving objects using uh, newton's second law of motion and then calculate the acceleration which is really unnecessary because we know that almost always when we're calculating the magnitude of the acceleration will have to have three equations which will then solve simultaneously but then okay without any waste, wasting any time uh, let's start with the 3 kg mass so we're gonna say 3 kg and then we're sticking to newton's second law right so we're gonna say f net is equal to ma now the question becomes which forces are acting on the trailer right so on the trailer we have the tension right from the car and through the string that is in between minus all the forces that are opposing the motion what are the forces opposing the motion the forces that is opposing the motion on the trailer is the friction and then that is equals to the mass by the acceleration so the tension is unknown but we know that the friction is 2.94 the mass is 3 kg and the acceleration is also unknown and then now for the 5 kg car we know that uh, the force that is pulling uh, the car is the force applied right of 40 newton so we're gonna see f net equals to ma again and we're starting with f applied right because it's the biggest force and then we subtract all the other small forces what are the small forces uh, we have tension that is opposing on the car right because it's being pulled by the trailer and then we also have the frictional force acting on the car which is all equals to ma and then the force that is applied is 14 newton and then the tension is unknown and the frictional force acting on the car uh, it is given as 4.9 newton on the equation right so we're gonna have 4.9 which is equals to 5 
uh, multiply by a so what we are going to do here i want you to realize that here we have t and here we have minus t so if we add these two equations t is gonna disappear and we're gonna be able to solve only for a so if we do that we're gonna get 4t minus t minus 4.9 and then plus t minus 2.94 right equals to 5a plus 3a so this is the left hand side of our first equation and this is the left hand, this is the right hand side of our of our first equation so the equation is still balanced but now t is disappearing and we're gonna be able to solve for a so we are saying 40 minus 4.9 minus 2.94 equals to 8a so now if we make a the subject of the formula we're gonna get a equals to 40 minus 4.9 minus 2.94 divided by 8 and let me just put that in my calculator real quick so we have 40 minus 4.9 minus 2.94 divided by 8 and that is giving me an acceleration of 4.02 meters per second squared and then now we have 2.1.5 which is complete the force exerted by the string on the car so now we're looking for the tension right we can take um this equation here uh, that uh, we got when we were using the 3 kg mass and then we solve for t because now we know a right or we can take this equation here uh, but it's easy to see that uh, the first equation is uh, pretty much a uh, plane compared to the second one so that's the one we're gonna use so we're gonna see t minus 2.94 equals to 3a but now we know what a is so we're gonna get t equals to 3 multiplied by a which is 4.02 plus 2.94 so we have 3 multiplied by 4.02 plus 2.94 and that is equals to 15 newtons so the tension um on the car is 15 newton that is pulling the car backwards right and the tension that is pulling the trailer forward it's also 15 newton and then now uh the question goes on it says uh the string is disconnected from the car and reconnected at a higher point to make an angle theta so we can see that uh, the tension was something like this and now it's slightly going down and then the question is it goes on to say the horizontal force of 14 neutron is again applied to the car to accelerate the system from rest as before all right and then 2.1.6 says draw a free body diagram with labels of all the four six section on the car so because it's on a surface we have normal force and then uh, we always have fg right so this fg and then it's been pulled by 40 newton force so we'll have uh, force applied and then we have the tension uh, by the string which is now slightly at an angle so there we have our t and then that will be the free body diagram for the car so 2.1.7 is asking us what is going to happen to the frictional force now that the tension is at an angle so when the tension is at an angle uh, when we resolve it along the x-axis right uh, it's going to go down and then it will have a lower value right so let's go back to our equation for the 3 kg mass so we know that we have t for tension uh, minus the friction which is equals to a mass by the acceleration the mass is the same the acceleration is the same now the tension 
uh, has gone down right because it's now at an angle but then we still need the mass and the acceleration to be the same so what how should the frictional force change the frictional force also goes down uh, so that this equation is still true it's still balanced right so if the tension uh, had went up the frictional force would have to go up so here we're going to say less than because the frictional force need to also go down because the tension went down and we still need to maintain our equality right and then for 2.1.8 um it's saying what will happen to the frictional force on the car so again let's go back to the equation for the car we have the force uh, minus the friction minus the tension equals to ma uh, the force is the same right so we can forget about the force and then here we have the tension that is going down right and then m is still the same and the acceleration is still the same so how does uh, this frictional force have to change such that uh, this equality is maintained right so the frictional force has to be greater than right so let's have uh, greater than for the frictional force why is the frictional force being greater than it's been greater than because now the tension has went down but the acceleration is still the same so the frictional force has to go up such so that the equality is still maintained and then for 2.2 it says uh, the planet mass has an approximate mass and radius 6.39 times 10 to the 23 kg and 3.39 times 10 to the uh, 3 kilometers respectively calculate the approximate magnitude of the gravitational acceleration on the surface of mars we know that uh, the gravitational acceleration is given by the big g multiplied by the mass of the um planet divided by the radius squared so what is the value of this big g that i'm talking about the gravitational uh, acceleration constant uh, that is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 and then the mass is given to us as 6.39 times 10 to the power 23 kg divided by the radius squared uh, which is 3.39 times 10 to the power 3 squared and if you put this in your calculator it's gonna give you 3.71 meters per second squared which is actually uh, the gravitational acceleration of mass in real life